topic for today is solving situational problems involving circles. Example 1. The circle whose center is at 3, negative 1 is tangent to the line 6x minus 8y plus 9 is equal to 0. Find the radius of the circle and determine the equation, its general equation. Okay. The first step that you will do is to illustrate the problem. Let's draw a rectangular coordinate system here. 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2. That's the point. So we have this one is point 3, negative 1. This is 3, negative 1. And that is the center of your circle. How are we going to graph this one? So we have a linear equation 6x minus 8y plus 9 is equal to 0. So I will be using the x-intercept and the y-intercept to graph this one. Let x be equal to 0 and let y be equal to 0. Okay. If this one is 0, that will be negative 8y is equal to negative 9. So divided by negative 8, negative 8 y will be 9 over 8. So this one is 9 over 8. For the second one, if I will let y be equal to 0, this one is 0 this time, we have 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. 6x is equal to negative 9 divided by 6. x is equal to negative 3 over 2. So this is negative 3 over 2. So we have the x-intercept now and the y-intercept. I can now graph this line. So we have 0, 9, over 8. So that is 1 and 1, 8. 1 and 1, 8. So let's see. And the negative 3, 2, that is 1. Negative 3 over 2, that is 1 and 1 half negative, And that is 0. So we have this line. This one is your line and this one is your circuit. Okay, question. Of course, this one is always perpendicular to the center. A line, this one is tangent. When we say tangent, it touches the circle at only one point. And this line is always perpendicular to the center. Now, Question, how are we going to find the radius? To find the radius, we will be using a so-called distance, the distance between a point and a line formula. So I will be using R here because the distance between a point and a line, this line is 6x minus 8y plus 9 is equal to 0. That is the line and this one is the point. How am I going to get the R? To get the R, as I have said, I will be using the formula for distance between a point and a line. And this one is the formula. Absolute value of AX sub 1, BY sub 1, plus C over the square root of a squared plus B squared. So our A is 6, our B is negative 8, and our C is 9. Our X sub 1 is 3, our Y sub 1 is negative 1. So substituting this to the formula, you have 6 times 3 plus negative 8 times negative 1 plus 9 over the square root of 6 squared plus 8 squared. So R is equal to 18 plus 8 plus 9 square root of 36 plus 64. So R is equal to, this one is 26 plus 9, that is 35. The absolute value of positive 35 is, is still 35 positive. So this one is the square root of 100. So our R is equal to 5, no, 
it's 35 over 10. Now, they are both divisible by, of course, 5. This one is 7 over 2. So, that is the length of our R. Our R is 7 over 2 and our center is 3 negative 1. We can now find, of course, the equation of the circle. X minus H plus Y minus K squared equals R squared. So, this is X minus 3 squared plus y minus negative 1 is equal to 7 over 2 squared. Okay. So, this is x minus 3 squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 49 over 4. This is already our standard form. But, notice that we are asked to find the general. So, let us expand this by... Getting the LCD, which is 4. This is 4. X minus 3 squared plus 4. Y plus 1 squared equals 49. Let us expand this. X squared minus 6X plus 9. Y squared plus 2Y plus 1 is equal to 49. Okay. So, distributing 4, that will be 4X squared. 24x, 36, 4y squared, 8y, plus 4 is equal to 49. Okay, simplifying. So, 4x squared, plus 4y squared, negative 24x, plus 8y, plus 40, minus 49, equals 0. So, we have now 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 24x plus 8y minus 9 is equal to 0. Example number 2. A circle is tangent to the line 2x minus y plus 1 equals 0 at point 0.25. And the center is on the line x plus y equals 9. Determine the equation of the circle and sketch its graph. Okay, this one is 2x minus y plus 1 equals 0. You know already how to graph an equation. You just find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. x plus y is equal to 9. This is the graph. Take note that this line contains our center and the center is here. This circle is tangent to this point. This one is the point, 2, 5. When we say tangent, this line forms a perpendicular segment going to the center. When we say perpendicular, it forms a right angle. Now, how are we going to get this point and how are we going to get the R? Because in forming an equation, we need to get the center and the R or the radius. We have a line here and of course we have a point. So, this is what you're going to do. Let us recall first the slope. If line 1 is parallel to line 2, m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2, meaning the slope of line 1 is equal to the slope of line 2. If line 1 is perpendicular to line 2, when it forms right angle, the slope of line 1 is equivalent to the negative reciprocal of the slope of line 2. Take note of that. Now, how are we going to get the slope of this? To get the slope of this, you have to convert this equation 2x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 into the form y is equal to mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the x-intercept, okay? Why are we getting this? We are getting this to know the slope of this. To know the slope of this. So that we can also get the slope of this line. Because it says a while ago that 
if line 1 is perpendicular to line 2, the slope of line 1 is the negative reciprocal of the slope of line 2. Okay. So, let's get first the slope of line 1. This is negative y is equal to negative 2x minus 1. Negative y transpose, transpose. You divide everything by negative 1. So, this is 2x plus 1. So, our m is equal to 2. Meaning, the slope of this line is 2. Now, the slope of this, therefore, is... This one is m sub 1. Slope of line 1. It's negative reciprocal of this. It's negative 1 half. That's it. Now, we need to get the equation of this so that we can match it here. We can identify the intersection. So, we have a point. We have a slope. Therefore, you will be using the formula for equation of line. Y minus Y sub 1 is equal to mx minus x sub 1. This formula is the point slope form. Okay? Of an equation of line. So this is, we have a point, a point is, the point is 2, 5. So we have y minus 5 is equal to m negative 1 half x minus 2. Take note that we are getting now the equation of this. That line. That line perpendicular to the center. So this is you cross multiply or get the LCD. That will be 2y minus 10 is equal to negative 1 x minus 2. So 2y minus 10 is equal to negative x plus 2. So 2y plus x is equal to 2 plus 10. 2y plus x is equal to 12. You already have the equation of this line. Now, we will be getting the intersection of this line and this line so that we can identify the center. How are we going to do that? So, you already have 2y plus x is equal to 12. This one is the equation of uh, this line. And this line has the equation x plus y is equal to 9. Let us use elimination method here in solving this system of linear equation. So, let us arrange this first. This one is y plus x is equal to 9. Same as x plus y is equal to 9. So, I will be multiplying the first by negative 1. So, this is negative 2y minus x is equal to negative 12. So, y plus x is equal to 9. Remember that we are doing this, we call this method as elimination method of system of linear equation. We are doing this so that we can identify the value of x and y, which is our center. So this one will be cancelled now. It's negative y is equal to negative 3. Negative 1, negative 1. y is equal to positive 3. It's really positive 3. Let's see. So, it's there. It's positive 3y. Now, to solve for the x, you choose any of the two equations and then substitute this y. So, I will be using the second equation. This one is equation 2. This one is equation 1. So, that is y plus x is equal to 9. So, this is 3 plus x is equal to 9. x is equal to 9 minus 3. x is equal to 6. So, this is now our center. Our center is x equals 6, y is equal to 3. So our hk is 6, 3. Now, let us find the radius. How are we going to get the radius? You have a point now and you have another point. So this stands formula. What is the length of the radius? You have this point and you have this point. So, we have 6, 3, the center, and we have the point 2, 5. Let's use the distance formula in finding R. X for X, 6 minus 2 squared, plus Y for Y, 
3 minus 5 squared. So that will be equal to 4 squared plus negative 2 squared. So r is equal to 16 plus 4. r is equal to square root of 20. Or that will be 2 square root of 5. Now, our r is square root of. So we have now the center and the radius. We are now ready to use the formula x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Okay. So this is x minus 6 plus y minus 3 is equal to square root of 20 squared. So this is x minus 6 plus y minus 3 is equal to 20. Square root of 20 squared is of course 20. If you are asked to give the standard form of the equation of the circle, this one is already the answer. But if you are asked to give the general, you need to expand this. x squared minus 12x plus 36 y squared minus 6y plus 9 equals 20. x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 6y plus 45 minus 20 equals 0. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 12x minus 6y plus 25 equals 0. <laughs>